So we met at Rutgers and that was in 2008. I wound up walking her back to her apartment, I think uh, the, next, the next weekend, which was like the big step in the process. He was just super thoughtful, caring, and romantic from the beginning. More and more, we just started seeing each other, and then uh, you know, she just had some quality that I was just, uh, just really, really attracted to. I found myself really connected to her in a deep way. I was only walking through your neighborhood, saw you loud on honey in the cold. I stood anywhere I go, there you are. Anywhere I go, there you are. I've been getting used to waking up with you. I've been getting used to waking up here. The way he like supports her and holds her and just lets her be herself. He just completely unconditionally loves her. She's very warm and, and very family oriented and we, we definitely like that about her. I look at them, I'm like, wow, like, that's what everybody aspires to have in their life. He came over to my parents' house and he took me out to his car to show me the ring and he was just like pacing and <laughs> it was really cute. It's really great to see that Patty's found someone like that. They're just really well matched for each other. Everything is fine. Over the years, I've had the privilege of watching my brother and Patty grow and mature in their relationship. I know that these two, as with most things in their lives, will come out on top together. He loves to surprise me and do things that like maybe I'll mention in passing and never have like a serious thought, you know, but then he like does it. I mean, there's something about her. She, she just compliments me in every, uh, in every way. She makes me laugh every day, whether intentional or not, she's, she's able just to make me smile. Since we met, I feel a lightness in my step. You're miles away, but I still feel you. Anywhere I go, there you are. The day before and there are like signs on the highway you know coastal evacuation because of the hurricane and i'm like why are we going down the shore if there's a hurricane coming when i got down on one knee i was able to distract her oddly enough there was a man with a parrot tapped her on the leg and said hey and she turned around saw me on one knee and that's when i asked and i'm like whoa like i my i literally was like what are you doing <laughs> like i just wasn't expecting it at all i was feeling for that ring in my pocket every 10 seconds it was just like total surprise and that's why he was so adamant about going down. The sun was, was shining, the waves were large in the background and made for beautiful pictures. Patty and Dan, I promise you in the name of Christ that you will be able to love one another all the days of your life. The fire and the flood. I wish your love will never end like the circle in your wedding rings and that this new life bring them health wealth and happiness forever. I'm just looking forward to our journey ahead. I know that he's gonna be an amazing husband, an amazing father. He's just so caring, like he's always looking out for, for everyone but himself. So I know that that's what will make him great for years to come. I'm here because I love you. You are everything to me. You are my rock, you are my strength. I cannot wait to see you walk down that aisle. I cannot wait to spend this night with you. There's no one I would rather walk through the journey of life than with you. Patricia received this ring. Daniel received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. i like to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Patricia and Daniel Kaiserman. To a long, happy, and loving marriage. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
Podcast. 